Hello again. I wanted to do a quick video. I don't plan on making this one very long, but I've got some thoughts that I want to share with you about how important it is to be kind to yourself. I want to make sure I give a shout out to Carrie Ann Carr and her practice, the Hope Enrichment Center. A lot of the ideas that I'm putting out here come from her and trainings that I've been getting from her and supervision. Um, so I want to make sure I give credit where credit is due. The information that I'm going to give in this video is from an illustration that she gave me. And so she is amazing. If you are enjoying the information that I'm giving, my hat's off to her. She is just an incredible, incredible counselor and trainer. I'm going to put her website link in the description of this video. So if you're interested in following up, if you want to get training as a counselor, she does quality uh, supervisions. I'm seeing her for EMDR certification supervision. She is, she is just awesome. So I want to make sure she gets the credit that is due to her. I want to give you an illustration. If you keep finding yourself having trouble reacting in ways that you don't want to, you find yourself just stuck in emotion, and once you get out of those situations, you're going, why did I act like that? I keep doing this. I may have a little bit of, a, of information for you that, that explains that or helps you understand it just a little bit better. But I want you to consider that there's this container over here, and there are three levels to the container. In the bottom, bottom layer, the bottom level is physical safety. And when I say physical safety, I mean this in the most literal sense of the word, physical safety. So if we're talking about an active shooter situation or a car wreck or a soldier in combat, they are having to devote a lot of energy to their physical safety and just staying alive. And nothing else matters because physical safety is the most important. Um, the next layer up is emotional safety. So if someone isn't too worried about, you know, dying in that moment, they're now able to get into the, the emotional side. And sometimes situations require a lot of emotional energy. And then the top layer of this container is higher level logical thinking. So if I take a bottle of energy and I start pouring it into our other container, well, how much energy does each level require? So again, if that bottom layer, if we're worrying about dying or severe bodily harm, that's requiring a lot of energy. So as we pour that energy in there, it takes all of the energy up and there's none left to go up into the emotions or the higher level thinking. Now, if we're not worried about our physical safety, but we're having to deal with a lot of conflict or anxiety or stress, whatever it may be, but we're not worried about dying. Well, dying is not requiring as much energy, so now our energy is able to make itself, make its way up into the emotions. And so if, if there's, again, a lot going on in this emotional world, it's requiring a lot of energy. And so our energy runs out and it's stuck in this emotional layer. And then if we are physically safe and emotionally safe, it's not taking up as much of that energy as we pour it in there. And that energy is able to come up into this higher level logical thinking. I see this a lot when I'm sitting with people in counseling sessions that they come in and they're sitting in a calm, safe room. They're not worried about physical safety. They're emotionally safe to feel however they feel. They know they're welcomed into that environment. And therefore they're able to have these higher level logical conversations with me and then they go out into their daily lives and, and you know, it's all out the window. And, and they're like, why do I keep doing this? Well, the reason for that is because when you get out into your daily life, while you may not be worrying about your physical safety, you have to deal with this stuff in that middle ground. And especially if you're bringing trauma or baggage, your own story into that, well, it requires a lot of energy. And so we know the answers. I've talked about that before, but in the, the emotional struggle that we're in, it's requiring a lot of energy and we're not able to get up to this higher level logical thinking. And so it makes sense why we would react in ways that when we get out of it, we think, what was I thinking? Oh, 
That was a stupid reaction. We get really hard on ourselves for, you know, losing our temper or lashing out or whatever it is, fill in the blank destructive habit that you may have. So what I want to encourage you to do in this video is to just be kind to yourself. We all have this middle ground in our own story that's brought into it and we lose sight of that third layer because sometimes life just requires a lot of emotional energy and when we get in that place we are just not capable of drawing the higher level thinking out we are all going to make mistakes out of our baggage and i'm not giving anyone a pass i'm not saying hey do whatever you want but i'm just asking you to be kind to yourself 